Being different means not being afraid to challenge the norm, willing to take chances and asking why. To be different is about being the person that you were meant to be. Jigusa believes that everyone is born unique. Most of us won't even read unless there's an exam. But you know what? Every day of our life is an exam. Every day you either pass or fail the test of life. Every day is an opportunity to grow beyond our present barriers and circumstances. Every day is a chance to become a better person. We dare to be different because we don't want to be ordinary and we know that we have an abundance of potential within us and we want to shine. Why? Because we are different. Hello again, it is great to see you. Today's experiment is to compare the properties of alkanes and alkenes. Let's get started, shall we? How do alkanes differ from alkenes during combustion in air? The apparatus needed for this experiment are porcelain dishes, wood and spleen, hexane, and hexene. Firstly, pour 5 cubic centimeters of hexane and hexene into two separate porcelain dishes. Next, light up the wooden splint, making sure it burns well. Then, carefully lead both liquids in the porcelain dishes. Notice that hexane burns in the air with a yellow sooty flame, while hexene burns in the air with a yellow and very sooty flame. Therefore, we can conclude that alkenes produce more soot than alkanes when burnt in air. Next, how do alkanes differ from alkenes during the reaction with bromine? The apparatus needed for this experiment are test tubes, dropper, hexane, hexene, and bromine water. Firstly, pour 10 cubic centimeter of hexane and hexene into the prepared test tubes. Then, using the dropper, add 5 to 6 drops of bromine water into both test tubes. Carefully shake the test tubes and observe the reactions. We can see that there were no changes to hexane. But for hexene, the brown color of bromine water is decolorized. Therefore, we can conclude that alkenes decolorize bromine water while alkanes do not. Finally, how do alkanes differ from alkenes during the reaction with acidified potassium manganese solution? The apparatus needed for this experiment are test tubes, dropper, hexane, hexene, and acidified potassium manganate solution. Firstly, pour 2 cubic centimeters of hexane and hexene into the prepared test tubes. Next, using a dropper, add several drops of acidified potassium manganate solution into both test tubes. Then, carefully shake the mixtures and observe the reactions. We can see that there were no changes to hexane, but for hexene, the purple acidified solution is decolorized. Therefore, we can conclude that alkenes decolorize acidified potassium manganate solution, but alkanes do not. In summary, alkanes burn with yellow sooty flame in excess air, but not react with bromine water or acidify potassium magnet solution. Alkenes also burn in excess air but with a sootier flame. They also decolorize bromine water and acidify potassium magnet solution. Now we're going to learn about how to prepare ethanol in a laboratory. The apparatus needed for this experiment are boiling flask, rubber stopper, 
fractional distillation unit, thermometer, Leibig condenser, conical flask, filter funnel, and filter paper. While the materials needed are glucose solution, yeast, lime water, and distilled water. Let's begin phase one, fermentation. Fill the conical flask with 200 cubic centimeter of distilled water and dissolve for 15 grams of glucose to produce a glucose solution. Separately, prepare some water at 35 Celsius and then add 5 grams of yeast. Stir to produce a thick yeast paste. Next, add the yeast paste into the glucose solution. Let the mixture ferment in a warm place of about 5 Celsius for a week. After that, set up a funnel and a test tube filled with lime water. Observe as bubbles are produced in a conical flask, the lime water turns chocolate. Now, filter the mixture in a conical flask using filter funnel and filter paper, then place the filtrate in the distillation flask. We will now proceed into phase 2, fractional distillation. Once the fractional distillation unit is set up, begin heating the flask to boiling temperature of 80 Celsius. The distillate is then collected in the flask. Notice that the distillate is a colorless liquid with an alcoholic odor. This is pure ethanol. To summarize and conclude this experiment, ethanol is prepared in the laboratory through the fermentation of glucose it is then separated from the fermented mixture through fractional distillation to produce a more concentrated and purer form of ethanol. That is the end of our chemistry experiments. Remember to always be extremely cautious when working with fire and boiling temperatures. Thank you for joining and see you next time.